guys, this is Shadow Kirby 707, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. In the last part, we defeated Goma in Dark Raid's Cavern, and we pretty much saved Dark Raid's Island from perpetual darkness, evil, all that stuff. But yeah, it was, it was currently nighttime. I just want to hurt something. Um, anyways, um, it's currently nighttime in Windfall Island. Um, before we do anything, there is actually, or before we head south, where the King Angry Alliance wants us to go to, there is actually one guy out here that's dancing at nighttime. Let's talk to this guy. Do 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 do. Let's see, who are you? Oh, no, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't either. Hello, Elvis? Oh dear, pardon me, pardon me, guy. I was a fool and wholly absorbed in my dance that I didn't even notice a little old you standing there. I am taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You will come to know me as the world charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. Say, guy, you know what I was just reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling match dance. A dance that turned night into day right before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't seem to get that intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? Hmm, rhythm. I do kind of have rhythm. Wait, 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 does. And no, I'm not doing this. It's actually automatic. I can't do anything right now. And he notices that we have a Wind Waker. Mm, mm, cha. Mm, mm, cha. That's, that's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah, you're really feeling it, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, um, he showed us a pattern that he did, which is right, left, down. And with this, we learn a new song. This is the song of passing. That's it! That's it! It is perfect! I'm perfect! Now let the sun shine on! Hey! What's the matter? Nothing happened! Nothing at all! Why? Because you're not magical like me! So yes, the song of passing, it will allow you to change night to day, day to night. Which is actually very, very helpful, especially for certain quests that you can only do like during the night or during the day. So yeah, you do want to get the song of passing, it will really help you a lot. So I highly recommend getting the day or song of passing. So yeah, we can change night to day and day to night, which is really awesome. And let's do the wiggly post box, yes! So, remember that letter that we sent from Baito to his mom? Yeah, now we're getting it. Good morning. Letters for Link. We have one letter. Here's your letter. Thank you. To my son superior, thank you very much for looking after my boy. This isn't much, but I hope you accept it at all the same. I politely request you continue your kindness towards my son, Kashiko, Baito's mother. And with that, she completed our next heart container, which is our fourth heart piece that we collected. And now we have five heart containers. Yes! Ha ha! Alright, um, I could have sworn. Actually, yeah, we could do uh, something real quick. Um, we could visit the potion shop just real quick. No, not that they're wrong. Yeah, we can visit Mrs. Marie just to give her some joy pendants out of the way. But before we do, um, I did mention about the potion shop, which is right here. So let's take a look at this real quick. So um, this is our first instance of the potion shop. Let's talk to this guy with the with the big buck tooth and really cool glasses. Um, dude, I hope those fumes are not poisonous. That's all I can say. Hello, hello, hello. You're standing the one and only true jelly juice shop. You must have heard our potions are the best. I'm telling you, they're too good. In fact, they're absolutely incredible. Mm, what's that? What's chew jelly you ask? Looking somewhat bewildered? Oh, sir, you simply must be joking. You don't know what chew jelly is? Well, I'll just ask yourself this, good sir. What is a robustly nourishing element? What is a mystical substance that is good for the body and mind? Ask yourself. The world's chew jelly were around to answer to these questions proclaiming themselves to be true. Why is the key ingredient the most effective potions around? 
All you had to do was bring an empty bar to my little juice shop here, and I'll let you have a taste. Which begs the question, sir, do you have an empty bottle? Huh? I did, but it's filled with a fairy. Um, I wonder if you show him the chew jelly. I think he'll say something? I don't remember. Let's see. <gasps> Is that... Could it possibly bleed? Do you by chance bring me a chew jelly? It's quite clever of you to bring, bring in such a quality ingredient to me. I'll take five of them if you can spare them. And to thank you, I'll give you one free serving. Not a bad deal, no, sir. At least I would if you had an empty bottle, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you can actually uh, give him uh, chew jelly, then he'll make a potion for you for free, I think. Or at least there's actually more chew, um, more chew potions that he does sell, but you have to give him that certain chew jelly in order to have it in the shop. But there are other ways to get potions for free, so I really don't go to this guy as much. So yeah, and um, I do remember one other thing that I can do um, is actually the windmill. Now when you think of the windmill, the windmill should be moving. But it isn't. Um, there is actually a guy that runs this windmill. So as you can see, the windmill is not moving. But there is a way to move that. Um, actually, if you go behind here, there's actually a ladder. And what is up this ladder, you may ask? Well, if we go up this ladder, climb, 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 climb. Keep climbing, like, keep, yeah, keep climbing. There's actually a switch. If you press on the switch, it will turn on the windmill, but... The thing is, we need the wind facing the right direction. And I don't know what direction the wind is supposed to be in. But I'll guess, I suppose. Alright, so if we blow the wind, I think, to the northeast, maybe? I don't know. Please be the northeast. Let's try northeast. No, it isn't. Okay, that's the wrong direction. Alrighty, um, <laughs> we'll keep on guessing what direction I need to blow the wind to. Let's see, uh, let's try southwest? Let's try southwest. I have no idea, but let's we'll try southwest. Wait, really? Not southwest either? What? What, what direction do I blow it in? <laughs> What one direction do I blow it in? Alright, let's see. Um, let's try north. I could have sworn. I think it's north. I think it is. I think it's north. Maybe not northeast. I think it might be north. Let's try that. There we go. It's north. <laughs> it's north. Dang it. And with that, the windmill is moving once again. Alright, so we got that cleared out of the way, drop down link, you're not gonna get hurt, thank goodness. So yeah, um, there's a guy running the windmill, um, he'll say, you know, if only there was wind blowing in the windmill, then it will turn. Alright, so if you go in here to Salvador's minigame, which we, pretty, I pretty much just destroy that minigame, my goodness, that was awesome what I did. So yeah, if we go upstairs, out of here, this guy runs the windmill. Let's talk to him. Well, would you look at that? The first wheel just started moving on its own. Somebody must have started it up. I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who it was or where he is, but he must be one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he is a guy. Well, seeing how, how it's finally moving again, you should go for a ride while you have the chance. You can just jump the gondola seat just around the corner from here. Trust me, little man, it's fun. Alright, well, I mean, he doesn't give you a reward for it, but there is one more thing that you can do to get that reward, but that's much, 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 much later. But, we will get to that soon. Anyways, um, I do want to ride on this gondola, because there is actually something that we can get that you can't really get anywhere else. So yeah, let's ride this gondola real quick, and you actually get a really nice view of Winterfall Island and the islands surrounding it, which is really cool. And, yeah, it's not only just a windmill, it's also a lighthouse. But the thing is, uh, actually, I don't want to read this real quick. Let's read what's in here. What's this? Check. Wielder of the Flaming Arrow, when you appear, the lighthouse singer shall return to the light, the sea, that night, the sea, your J.L. Picall. Yeah, this is also a lighthouse, but unfortunately, at night, it does not light up. Oh, that was kind of weird. But yeah, <laughs> We can't do that right now, just saying. Alright, so we do want to ride this gondola, and 
right around this roof right here, you do kind of want to jump off of it. At least so, uh, just be careful when you jump off because there's actually a door that you can't get to unless you ride the gondola. And if you go in here, it's actually the second floor of Lenzo's Pictograph Studio. And you can actually get a bunch of rupees, which is actually really nice. But I'm not going to break those pots because I believe there's another chest that does give you lots of rupees. But first, this chest seems to be very important because it is a treasure chart. And I should just look at the treasure chart of what I got. Just to be on the safe side of when I'm editing this video, then I can look back at what charts I collected. And if we look in the chest, it would give us 50 rupees, which is not too bad. Alright, seems pretty good, but we can't get out of here unless we go through the door. But, let's go through the crawl space and see where we get ourselves into. Alright, let's keep crawling, keep crawling. And also, I remember there was a an island on the Tinko chart that is actually northwest from here, I believe. Um, I will look into that once we get out of here. And we see Lenzo talking to a lady. Allow me to think. Uh, yes, I first started searching for a pictograph that recorded true beauty. Oh, about ten years ago. How interesting. Ah, oh, who is there? Uh, Grandpa, what are you doing? What are you doing here? Were you trying to give me a heart attack? Um, excuse me, what is going on here exactly? Hmm, and now that I think of it, just how did you get here? Why, I never even noticed you. Um, I'm a ninja. That's all I can say, I'm a ninja. What? I'll have you know, I only come here to have him take a pictograph of my exceptionally beautiful skin. I've been a huge fan of pictographs for a very long time now, so don't go taking this the wrong way. Okay, wink wink. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, anyway, there is actually an island, I believe, northwest from here. I'm not sure if we can go to it right now, or, yeah, I need to look at the Tingo chart real quick. Yeah, if you look at the Tingo chart, there's actually a ferry on northwest from here. I kind of do want to look into that, which I don't think we can. I think there's something blocking our way to enter that. You know what? You might as well explore that area because we never know. There could be something up there that we haven't even seen yet. We'll call this an exploration um, episode. <laughs> so yeah, let's go northwest real quick. Unless the King Red Lion stops us, there is a certain point that the King, Re King of Red Lion will stop you and say, Hey, we need to go this way instead. But you know what? I'm going to ignore his orders and we'll just go northwest and explore that island real quick. Because I do want to go to that fairy island, because I believe it will give us something very important, or actually really good, especially right now, since, well, uh, my rupees are half full. I don't know. I <laughs> uh, This game, I don't really remember everything 100%, because, I don't know, this game is different compared to Twilight Princess. I mean, yes, I play this game a lot too, but I play a lot more Twilight Princess, and for some reason I just don't remember a lot more Twilight Princess. I don't know why, but I guess it's because the islands are kind of similar to each other, so I always forget what um, what island or what the island contain. So I don't know, but I'm gonna explore this island real quick. It's one of the first very um, very many um, of these special. Oh, it's far too soon to venture in the direction we should set sail to our next station. Okay, never mind. Well then, I guess we can't even go that way. Darn it, King of Red Lions, why must you do that? Well then, um, I guess we're gonna we'll head back to... We'll head back to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Dry Roost Island. Yeah, or actually, no, we'll have to pop an aisle, because there's actually something that we can get there. I mean, we're pretty much done with, uh... Yeah, we're pretty much done with what we had to do. Um, well, actually, there is technically one more thing that we can do in Full Island. Um, should I do it now? Do I have enough rupees for it? You know what? Why not? I'll, I'll, I'll do it. It's actually at night time, so I think I'll do it. Well, I don't know. Do I have enough rupees for it, though? That's the thing. Uh, should I do it now? Should I do it now? Nah, I think I'll do it later. It's debatable. It's debatable. And no, I, I think I'll wait, maybe for the next, maybe the next episode I'll do that. 
because uh, I'll make this a short episode, I suppose, because I do kind of want to save after this, just in case if I make a mistake. But let's go east real quick to Pauper Isle because there is something very important that we can get in there. So, yeah. So I guess you can't exactly go up there just yet. Yeah, there is a certain limit where the King Ray line will tell you, you know, we need to go to our destination! Da da da! I mean, I kind of knew that, but I thought maybe we could have gone that way, but I guess not. So yeah, anyway, let's go back to Pauper Isle and see what we can get. Now, eventually, when we're traveling on to the seas, there may be parts where I'll cut parts of the video until we get to our destination. But right now, it's not really necessary. Maybe much later on, I will, but for now, it's okay. It's just, it's not very far from here. I mean, of course, the HD version makes it much faster with the Swift Sail, but I'm not playing the Wii U version for obvious reasons. Well, obviously, I'm not playing the Wii U version. Because I like to start with the original, usually. I don't know, I like to start with the original first before I head to the newer stuff. And I could just wonder if there's something else here that I could get, but I don't think it shows up yet. Hmm, maybe not. I must be thinking of a different island. But yeah, anyways, uh, there's actually a big dome here. And if you look very closely, there is actually a hole that we can crawl into. Alright, let's look into this. And I kind of wonder what this big dome really is. I mean, there's like something blue glow to it. Oh, I always thought it was some kind of egg, but it's not an egg. It's just some... Oh, that looks really gross. Ugh, that looks kind of weird. Just seeing those things hanging from the ceiling. It just... I, I'm not a big fan of bugs. It just reminds me of, like, cocoons. And it just looks weird. And yeah. So yeah, I can see there's actually a bunch of chew jellies. You can actually grab the chew, but the grappling hook. Or the chew jelly. But I'm not going to be doing that. Ooh, you dropped something. Yay! Awesome. That's a chew jelly. Wow. That's actually a lot. Um, anyways, if we go over here, there's actually a uh, grappling hooks area that we can grapple to, which is really cool. Yeah, you could have gone here earlier. Actually, yeah, you could have, because there's actually one important item that you can get. Yep. Link, can you climb up? Oh, I guess I gotta go to the other side. Oh, there you go. But yeah, you could you could have come here earlier on your way to Dragon Moose Island, because there's a heart piece in this area that you could have gotten, like, immediately. But I, I think I could have waited, um, you know, after we get the ability to, um, get this, the fish that can draw out the sea chart. But yeah, I think I'll do this real quick, and then I'll end the part here. Um, I think I'll do something in Windfall Island, I think, in the next part. Because I have a lot of money for it, and I do kind of want to spend my money, because I'm tired of getting rupees that I can't even fit to my wallet, or actually, this is not the treasure I was thinking about. Okay, so that's 20 rupees, which isn't too bad. Roll, Link, roll, or not, you cannot roll. Alright, well, that's not bad, it's only one heart, one quarter of a heart. And yes, there are other areas where they're blocked off of the boulder, we can't even do anything about that right now. But there are other areas that you can go through, uh, which is right over here. If we go through this passage over here, we get more shoes. Alright. Ouch! <laughs> I was trying to do the parry attack. Uh, we literally just collided with each other. But there is a very special chest here, which is spiky. Usually there's a spiky chest. It will contain something very, very good. This chest will contain a harpy, which is harpy number five. Alright, so that's actually the very important I know that we can get in Pauper Isle. I think there is one more um, I know that we can get here, but I'll come back later once we get that necessary item to get rid of those boulders. You guys pretty much know what it is, but yeah, I won't tell what it is just because. Just because of the flow of the game. But you know what? Actually, I think I will do that thing on Wonderful Island in the next part. Um, can you go through? Like, go through. Thank you. Yeah, um, I think I'll stop the episode here, guys. I'm gonna go back to Windfall Island, because there is actually one thing I do kind of want to do and get out of the way. I mean, I won't do all of it, but I'll do parts of it. But anyway, guys, uh, that is it for this episode of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, next episode, um, we'll be in Windfall Island to do a particular thing that only occurs at nighttime over there. So, anyways, I'll meet you guys in Windfall Island, and I will see you guys then. So, this is Shadow Kirby 707 saying, bye!